USA Today reports this morning on what it calls an extraordinary development in the presidential race. As we reported, it contacted every Republican governor and every lawmaker in Congress. As of last night, about one in four is refusing to endorse Donald Trump. The paper says the results have, quote, no precedent in a modern American political history. Susan Page is USA Today's Washington bureau chief, and we're pleased to have her here. We've got three subjects. One, emails and the Russians, but Donald Trump and, and then where this campaign is going. What is Trump's strategy based on this quarrel with Republican leaders? I think he has turned to a, to a scorched earth strategy where he's going to turn out his core supporters. He is going to try to punish Republicans that are not supporting him. And he's trying to make it as difficult as possible for a President Clinton to govern after the election. Do you see this as a turning point in the campaign? I, I do think so. And I think you see it not only in how Donald Trump is behaving, but also in how Hillary Clinton is behaving because she is now campaigning with the idea of trying to bring as many senators, Democratic candidates for Senate and the House along with her. And she's preparing to campaign in some states that she doesn't need, states like Arizona and Georgia. Utah might even be in play. And even I mean, putting money in those states. Putting money in those states with the idea of helping down the ballot. Just as Donald Trump is making it harder for Republicans down the ballot, Hillary Clinton is now doing everything she can to make it easier to, to, to gain control of the House, of the Senate, and perhaps even the House on Election Day. His popularity, however, is based on being anti-establishment, running against a very unpopular Congress. However, specifically taking on some of these lawmakers, including the Speaker of the House, the man he would have to work with hand in hand in order to get stuff done, does it complicate things for Mike Pence, his running mate? Oh, yeah, I think it, I think it does. Because what is Mike Pence's brand? It's as uh, a, a very uh, uh, honorable guy, an evangelical Christian who has generally not done negative campaigning in his own campaigns. Who's very close with Paul Ryan. That's right. Uh, and and at, at an event last night had a had someone at a town hall say if if Donald Trump loses we should have a revolution he said don't talk like that this is puts uh, this puts Pence in a difficult place and we know that he has ambitions down the road you know he might want to be running for president himself down the road have you seen any evidence that the Russians tipped off the Trump yeah. campaign about the emails that were going to come out about Hillary Clinton's campaign? You know, we don't have any hard evidence. We have some circumstantial evidence, including a tweet that Roger Stone, who is a longtime associate of Donald Trump, sent in August saying it would be John Podesta's turn in the barrel with the release of emails. And that is certainly is what happened now in October. Mm -hmm. And so what does that mean to you, Susan? Well, it, 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 I think that one of the most serious things that has happened in this campaign that has gotten not as much attention as it deserves is efforts by Russian state actors to affect our election, our politics, that is a extremely serious yeah. thing. And it re could raise questions in some voters' minds yeah. about the legitimacy of the election. And I think the administration is signaling that it may consider some kind of retaliation. Yes, and there are some thought that they were holding off in the hopes exactly. of making a deal with Russia on Syria. That's fallen through. So I think increasing signs that the administration may take more severe steps against Russia for what they think it's doing. Thanks, uh -huh. Susan. Thank, Thank you. Susan. This year's final presidential debate is one week from today. You can see our coverage next Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central, right here on CBS.